In this video, let's add some images to our pages. We have three startup pages that we created in the previous video. And now let's go ahead and add some pictures. I have some floating text on this page. And uh, this page I will keep this way. We will add some uh, manage text in a table uh, later on. So first of all, how do we download pictures that we can use on our project. Well, there is a video that I would recommend on our CS150 YouTube channel. And this particular video is going to have uh, a couple of uh, links in the description. These uh, links involve uh, a Wikipedia page as well as uh, a Wikimedia page. And so both are great places to uh, download uh, public uh, domain pictures. Uh, these pictures are going to be uh, licensed in a very flexible way so that you can use them on your site. Now I downloaded um, pictures for my site into the documents folder, the uh, website directory. And uh, here I have a picture of Microsoft Word, uh, Microsoft Excel. In fact, I'll go ahead and uh, uh, name this picture. So, so this is the Excel picture, and uh, this picture happens to be my uh, robot picture, which I downloaded from uh, clipart.org. All right, so with this in place, make sure that your images are also in the same directory as your website project. All of them should be in the same directory. Let's go ahead and see how this might work in our page. I'll go ahead and select an insertion point, and now I'll click on the image button. Let's go ahead and select the first image, and we'll grab the robot. Remember about the tooltip, so this is the CS150 robot, and we'll put the same in the alternate text. Again, this is for ADA compliance. It's for screen reading software to um, read to a, a blind person or one with uh, difficulty seeing what is in the image. And we also are going to play a little bit with appearance in just a moment. So let's go ahead and insert this image first. Notice that the image is fairly large and uh, you might want to resize these images uh, in the uh, project directory uh, because especially if the images are um, taken with a high quality camera or your phone, they might take a while to download. Now this robot here is a fairly simple image and uh, it is not uh, large in size, so we can just resize it in place. Okay, so now that I have this image, let's see how else we can display it on the page. If I double click on the image, I go back to the graphical user interface. And uh, first of all, I'm going to change the way it's displayed by saying wrap to the left of the image. So now the text is going to be wrapped next to the image. In addition to this, we'll go back and set spacing. Spacing around the image is fairly important because it helps to differentiate the image from the rest of uh, the page. Uh, the text is not encroaching on the image itself. Now let's take a look at this. Uh, maybe uh, the border is a little bit too large. Uh, perhaps uh, we're going to reset the border and, and keep it this way. Okay, so in this step, what we did is we added an image. And as you can see, if you have paragraphs just uh, floating around uh, the page, and they will automatically resize to the size of the screen, uh, you can just edit images, and uh, they will fit in just right. Now, I will do the same on my uh, Microsoft Word page. I'll go to uh, Insert, and uh, what I did with... Uh, these uh, images, is, I just took a screenshot of uh, my computer. 
So I created the, the pictures and I can go ahead and include them on my website. So here the tooltip will be um, in this word screenshot. In this word screenshot. And uh, we'll go ahead and insert that. Excellent. And let's follow the same with Excel. So insert image. We'll point to the image. This is the Excel. And we'll put in the tooltip. All right. So with this in place, we'll go ahead and say OK. So now I have my pages with images. And uh, now we are ready to perhaps arrange the pages better and also create a menu between them. So this is going to happen in the upcoming